Welcome to Edgewong Trading Journal Review number 7 and we are going to take a deep dive into one of our customers trading journals. With our free review service we help our customers analyze their trading performance and we provide tips on how to move forward with their trading and their journaling routine. If you want us to review your journal in one of our next videos go to edgewong.com review or click the link in the video description and submit your review request. So this is the journal that was submitted to us. And at first you might look at this journal and say that this trader is only losing. He should stop trading and look for a new trading strategy. But this journal review is going to be a real eye opener. And we will see how we can extract profitable parts of an overall losing trading strategy. And so help the trader move forward with a clear plan and more confidence. So let's get into the journal. The first step in your performance analysis is checking if you can execute your trades according to your rules. You can have the best system in the world, but if you cannot follow the rules, it will not make money. So let's go to the chart lab and this time we're going to go to the trade comments. Each trade in Edgewonk can be rated on your entry, your exit and your trade management. Here we are starting with the trade entries. And what we can see right away is that when the trader is following his plan, he is making money. He tagged 89 trades, 36 of them were winners and he made an overall profit. When you look at the other comments where here for example you have the early entry, you have a comment called incorrectly assess probabilities and then a late entry, he's losing money on all of them. Another thing that stands out is here for the early entry he has only 7 trades tagged but he's losing 60 pounds. But when we take a look here, followed the plan with this comment he tagged 89 trades and he made 60 pounds only. So there seems to be a discrepancy why he is losing so much money on a few trades and only making a little bit of profit on so many trades. That needs to be assessed. But we can already see that when he is following his system and his rules he is making money. That's very good news in the beginning. What we can do is go to the equity graph, we go to our advanced filter and then only let's look at the trades where he is following the plan. Of course the performance doesn't look great. In the beginning for the first part he was having more or less break even results. But then here in the later part, the last 25 to 30 trades, he started making good decisions and he started making good money. So this is really really a great sign for your performance analysis because it shows that there are parts of your trading strategy. If you follow your trading rules you are making money. This is a big confidence boost especially for losing traders once they can realize that they could make money if they would just stick to the plan. Let's go back to the trade comments and let's take a look at the trade exit. What we can see is when he's following his trading plans on the exit he is also making money. There's one comment that really stands out. He's losing 400 pounds on his trades where they, he have tagged them with cut loss short. That definitely needs to be observed. So let's try to see what is going on here. For that we can go to the journal. We go to our advanced filter again and then on the exit comment we want to see those trades that he tagged with this comment. What I really liked about this journal and what shows that the trader is spending a lot of time with his trades and as he is really serious about becoming a better trader is that he is having notes for every single of his trades. So he's spending a few minutes on each trade to write down his thoughts, his thought processes, he's identifying lessons, things that stood out, mistakes that he made and things that need improvement. So let's take a look at a few of them. For example here on this trade. You open the trade, you scroll down a little bit and then you can see here his personal notes. In short, I should not have entered the trade. And it's great that he's also writing a little bit of a longer conclusion here. What went wrong, why he did what he did and he's identifying his mistakes. Here another one. Let's take a look at this one. We scroll down again and he wrote, I literally wrote in my plan to only short today yet I went for a long. I was confident price had made its reversal and I attempted it twice. You will often see that a lot of struggling traders repeat their mistakes over and over again. What we have seen with the journal process and with the review process, traders are more likely to identify their negative trading patterns and then eventually stop them. So spending a few moments with your trades and writing down just one or two sentences can hopefully help you overcome your hurdles and improve your trading significantly. Let's take a look at winning trade here. We scroll down once again and you can see here he spent quite a lot more time on this. This was a much shorter term trade than expected and I'm glad I cut it when I did. But I did think about cutting it earlier than that but oh well. So you can see how this can help you so much going forward when over time you create a great catalog of notes and insights into your trading. 
You can then review and go back to your old notes and see what you thought. And you can also evaluate and follow your progress over time. I saw that the trader is using a lot of custom statistics. So in the chart lab, let's try to analyze the custom statistics of the trader. What we can see is that the four hour time frame seems to be underperforming for the trader significantly. Although there are only eight trades, he is making at least a little bit of money on the one hour. So that's definitely something to investigate. What I really want to get to is when he is following his trading plans, how his performance looks like. So let's turn on that filter. And that way, by only looking at the trades where you followed the trading plan, you can really get to the core of the system. Otherwise, you would be adding so much noise to your analysis that is not really helpful when you are reviewing a lot of trades that don't follow the plan. So this is actually a very good thing of the trader that he's tagging his trades that fall into his trading rules. That way you can eliminate the noise by filtering out all the other trades and only look at the core trading strategy. When is it performing best and when is it underperforming? So now when we go back to the execution time frame, you can see that the five minute chart is performing really well for the trader. He's making a healthy profit on 53 trades. And this is a good enough sample size to tell you that this is statistically significant. And here we can also see he has a custom statistic called with the trend. So when he's trading with the trend, he's making profits. When he's trading in a sideways market or going against the trend, he is losing money. He also is tagging his trades based on the session. So in the London session, he in the AM, he's making quite a lot of money. 37 trades is also good enough for a decent sample size. We have only 10 trades from the London New York session and he's making a little bit of money, but overall more or less break even. So what we can see based on those custom statistics and the findings is that he should probably focus on the London session, trade with the trend and stick to the five minute time frame. That seems to be the most profitable combination for this trader in his strategy. Another thing that stood out is on the entry type. When a market entry, he is making a profit over 52 trades. When he's using a limit order, that's not working out for the trader and he's net losing. He's using a custom statistic called level. And when he's trading on his blue level, he's making money on 24 trades. The red level is also somewhat profitable, but more or less break even. So another very important finding. And you can see how you can slowly build your trading strategy and find out what is working really well based on his rules. In the beginning, we said that when we just look at the pure equity graph overall, he was a losing trader. And many traders are probably tempted to give up on their trading strategy. But once you realize that at the core, his trading strategy seems to be quite profitable over a good amount of sample size, that can change your whole outlook and your confidence can increase significantly once you realize that you could be trading profitably and that you need to trust your trading system. When we go to our chart lab and to the risk distribution, what we can see is that there are no outliers, especially no negative outliers. That's great news because it shows that overall he's applying good risk management principles and he seems to be on top of his position sizing. One thing that really stood out though is when we go to the report and to the monthly report, we can see that for June he has a negative performance, whereas on March, April, May, he overall had, although not great profits, he was making money. Now on June, he is losing significantly. He's losing 10 times as much as what he made during May, for example. So this definitely needs to be addressed. What is going on in the last recent month? We have a filter for that. So you can open the basic filters and only filter for June. And now let's go through his journal. What we can see is here, the equity graph is pointing to the bottom right. That's not good. He's only losing money and it seems to be getting worse and worse. When we go back to the trade comments, you can see on the entry, he's losing a lot of money on early entries and also on the probabilities comment that he's using. He really needs to stop taking those trades that are an early entry and that he's tagging with this probabilities comment. This needs to be his absolute priority. He has only tagged 10 trades with those comments, but he's losing significant amount of money. So let's just go back to the equity graph once again and we turn on the followed plan comment. Overall, we can see that he is slightly losing money, but I would say this is more or less break even. For most of the months, he was in profit. So this is a very great sign. He had a little bit of a drawdown here, but he recovered very nicely. And then in the last part, things went sideways a little bit, but not dramatically. What I noticed for the trader that he is not entering a take profit price. So he seems to be trading with a stop loss, which makes sense after we've looked at his risk distribution, which is very decent. 
and he's not having any outliers, but he's not using a take profit. So he seems to be using a manual exit approach. What I would recommend for this trader is to analyze his exit approach and to see if there is room for improvement for his exit analysis. Of course, when you're not using a fixed take profit, that it's a little bit harder, but we also have a solution for that. When you go to your strategy lab, you open the alternative strategies and then you can add a new alternative strategy. What this does is that it allows you to analyze and to test theories for different exit approaches. The trader could, for example, analyze and test an exit approach for a fixed reward to risk ratio or a different trailing stop loss approach. What we can see is that his profit factor is quite small and his average win and average loss relation is not great. His average win is 13 pounds and his average loss is almost 9 pounds. So by trying to tweak your exit analysis and trying to maximize your profits or at least increase them slightly, this trader could improve his edge overall probably significantly. However, at this point in this trader's journey, he must get back to executing his trades better. The equity graph clearly shows that when he is sticking to his rules, he is making money, as we've also seen when we looked at his comments. I think overall, this journal showed very nicely that although it looked very negative in the beginning, when you dig deeper into the performance, we can identify parts at least of a strategy that are performing well, and that can give the trader hope. He doesn't have to abandon everything completely, but he just needs to tweak his approach, improve his routine, and then see where this takes him in the next step.